Hey guys, these crank pulleys seem to come off a little bit hard sometimes. You don't need a puller of any kind. All you need is a couple of screwdrivers, um, and then this is a crow's foot, which could be helpful also. This is not a press fit gear. It's a tight fit. It's really tight on the, on the crankshaft, but it's not a press fit, so that's good. Um, but sometimes they stick a little bit. You can see a little bit of rust residue right here, and that's just normal. Sometimes that'll get in between the gear and the shaft a little bit, and it'll just slide off a little bit hard. All you gotta do is get it moving, and all you got to do is get a screwdriver under on this side and a screwdriver under on this side and then just kind of work them back and forth real easy and it'll it'll pop right off. What you want to make sure is these teeth right here are read by the crank sensor and they're square. Don't want to mash these little teeth in any way because the crank sensor won't read them. So make sure you're not prying too hard. It just takes a little wiggle wiggle, a little jiggle jiggle, and it'll pop right off there. So just be patient with it. You can do this at home, no problem. I like to find a spot like right here on the back side where there's this little flat part, kind of like this. There's a flat part over here. So if you can get under a flat part, that's a little, you're a little safer. But realistically, as long as you're real easy with it, it, it should be fine. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go right here with this screwdriver. Sometimes if you wiggle just one of these, you can get it to come. And look at that. The key is lifting on both sides. So you wanna lift on this side a little bit and on this side. Like if I just lift just on this side, it's more difficult. Where if I push on this side, it'll usually it'll pop right up. So that's how you get your gear off. You can see it's stuck a little bit there. So I'll just get under here a little more. And now I'm gonna get my crow's foot under one of these sides and just barely, you just barely want to put pressure under there and work it. Use the least amount of pressure possible. Once you get these off, you can try to clean them up a little bit with a little, just a tiny light scotch brake pad or maybe some emery cloth going real easy with like a 400 grit. It don't take much. If you're doing this, it's quite possible that you're doing it because you need to put an oil pump on, so, or this crank seal up here is bad. So those seem to be the t main factors in needing to pull this off. I'm actually swapping a motor and this crank pulley on 03 versus 05s has a few more teeth, so I need this old crank pulley off my old motor and my cam pulleys also need to be replaced because there's two teeth versus seven. So just that little bit of wiggle left and right both sides that usually will do the trick. Sometimes these things will just slide right off but if you have this problem like me Hopefully this video will help you get the sucker off. It's right there. I <laughs> can't, can't be much holding it here. So you see the idea. That's basically the idea right there all the way. And you see some pry marks right there. Maybe a little bit right there too. I don't think I damaged those teeth or mushroomed enough to worry about it. If you're still here, uh, this is the little file that I had intended on using and I don't remember where I got this set but it's a miniature file set basically. See where I, I touched that tooth and it's I think it's perfectly fine but if you're worried about it just take that and just kind of make sure it's nice and square. We'll get this tooth over here. Maybe I'll touch this one up. Get the top. Get the top here. And that should be good. Barely touched it, so there's there's no massive damage here at all. I just basically nicked it with that with that screwdriver. So just take your time and don't mash these up, and you'll be fine.